Hello, everyone. So, it is uh, Sunday night, and I am leaving on Tuesday in the afternoon, but I have to leave Tuesday morning to get to the city where I'm leaving from. So I'm leaving, I'm leaving Taiwan. Oh, oh shoot, I didn't, I didn't change my, um, I didn't change the name of my stream. Hmm. Okay, so since today is like kind of the last night, really, that I'm going to be um, on my own. Well, no, not really. I'm going to be, I, I hadn't thought about this, but I'm, I'm going to be on my own tomorrow night, too. But, um, I guess I'll maybe go to, like, a burger place or something. There's a burger place that's really close by, but I was just in the, uh, the convenience store. A lot more places are going to open up tomorrow, too. And I've been, like, I've been, like, craving things, like, totally randomly, but stuff is supposed to basically go back to normal. Um, starting on Monday, which is tomorrow. So, I am, yeah, I decided to pick up some onigiri, and, um, I went a little bit crazy, because I've been here for, like, five months now, and the onigiri that I, I have tried has been very limited. I like to get, like, these kinds of onigiri, um, sorry, onigiri, there we are, yes, I like to get these kinds that are like a log and they have lots of like rice in them and stuff, and I just, I really adore rice, um, and then I also picked up one of my favorite sandwiches to get, which is like, a spicy chicken sandwich. So simple. The the bread is like so soft and it just like melts. Um and I don't know. So so these kinds that are like typical onigiri, uh I haven't really eaten them that much because like when I first got them I was just like, why is it so hard to unwrap this? And the the wrapper like keeps the the what is this, the seaweed from getting wet and stuff, it like keeps it away from the rice so it's like crispy, but like, it's difficult. So I picked up one, two, three, <laughs> they fit, four, five, six. <laughs> I picked up six different kinds of onigiri, um, plus the, the rice log and the sandwich. And then on the way back, I was thinking, I really wanted some jiaozi, um, like, dumplings um, that they have. They have, like, curry and kimchi dumplings. And, oh, they're so good. But I could tell that they were already closing up. And when I went to the convenience store, I was just like, I looked on my translation app, and I was like, how do I ask them if they're open <laughs> completely? Okay. So, yeah, I got this instead. I can make, like... They're so, you can make like all kinds of like little designs and stuff with them. They're just like, wait, wait, let me see if I can pick this up. Hold on. And, eh, okay, no, that was not structurally sound. Do we have any architects in the audience? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what am I doing? I'm just having fun with these. I had a friend who like really loves like a specific kind of onigiri. So, I'm pretty sure this looks like it's chicken and kimchi. Chicken and kimchi. It might be pork, actually. Mm. Yeah. Ugh, I still can't read very well. Yeah, but this definitely has, like, kimchi in the picture. And then this one, I think it's like a meatball of some sort. That has like, it's got onions on it and some sort of sauce. That look, It looks kind of cheesy, I don't know. This one, I was really surprised to find it. It's, this is, uh, rosong. Rosong, which is like meat floss, which is usually made out of pork. Sometimes it's made out of fish. Sometimes it's made out of chicken. But I freaking love rosong. 
Um, when I was a kid, we used to call it Zosong. Um, and I just, I love to get like sandwiches, like these kinds of sandwiches that have the, the Zosong in it. And I'm just amazed that they have this. Like, I've been here forever and I never, I, I always said I was going to try all these stupid onigiris, but then I never actually did, so I'm doing it. Um, here we have salmon. Salmon. I'm pretty sure. Uh, that's the, this is the character for you, 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 fish, you, you, uh, yeah, one of those. And then I think this is just chicken. Yeah. This is just chicken. It has the character here for wind, phone, and then, hmm, huh, huh, maybe? Interesting. I, I, I'm just trying to read this, so it's just like really weird. Okay, and then the last one. Can anybody tell me the difference between these? Like, is this a smoked salmon and this is like, what, tuna? Or, or something like, this is pink and this one is orange. Um, I don't know the difference. I don't know the difference at all. So, this is a live stream, which means that I can't pause and edit. And I'm just going to open up this one, because these two are hot. And um, I'm just going to take a bite out of probably each of these. Um, so this one has like some zosong, it's got egg, and then um, pickled vegetables, pickled vegetables, and then I don't know what this is. It's either like meat or something. My mouth is watering. <laughs> That's what the inside looks like. I've had one of these before that was like purple, like black rice, and it was so good, and I was like, dang, this is so healthy for me. Mmm. And the pickled vegetables really are just freaking delicious. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. Immediately, you get a mouthful of zosong. You know what I think these are? With egg, zosong, pickled vegetables. And like, um, like a yotiao. Like a, kind of like a unseasoned churro, but like crispier, like a cracker. So it's got that crunch into it, that crunchy, like, texture. Hmm. I'm hungry. But I got a lot, so. I'll bite. I don't know that you consider that onigiri. I'm going to try this one first. The way you open it is their number. This is one, two, three. And you're supposed to like pull down. It goes all the way through the back of it. And then you like take this thing off. Because I just literally opened it up in half. And then on this side, I guess you pull this off too. And you see it like wraps around. So now there's no wrapper, it's just the CV. Um, take a bite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's dry, so it's crispy. That was kind of a big bite. Mm. It was mostly rice, though. Um... There's only a tiny bit. I'm pretty sure this is salmon. Oh. Hmm. That's pretty good salmon. It's like salty. So it's not like plain. Unless you consider salt to be plain. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Um. And now I'm really wondering what this one is. It might be... This one has wasabi on the picture. And the first one was just fish. So I think this one is just fish. And then this one might be salmon with um, wasabi. Or like some sort of seasoned salmon or something. So we open it up. To take the whole thing. Rip it in half. 
and you take off the side. And there's definitely some sauce on there. The way they wrap these, you know, they, uh, I mean, the, the, the plastic is touching the inside of it. So, oh god, and a whole bunch of seaweed got pulled off. That's kind of one of the reasons I don't like these. They're, they're just messy, really. I'd rather honestly have soggy seaweed <laughs> than the mess that happens. This one smells. It has a really strong scent. It's kind of, and it's sticky. My fingers are sticky on the outside. It's very, the other one was very, like, dry and, like, easy to eat. I need to figure out which way is the right side. I think I can see on the back of it that the seaweed is, like, wet and it's breaking through because I'm pretty sure they just, like, now that I'm looking at this, because I haven't had a lot of onigiri from the store before because I tend to get other things. Um, it looks like they form the rice into the shape of a triangle and then they put this, the filling on the inside and then they just cover it with the seaweed. Um, because there should be rice on this, but there's not. It's just filling. I can tell it's just seaweed on top of the filling. So I think if I take a bite this way, then I can get the filling. Mmm. There's definitely wasabi in this. Mm-hmm. That was a lot of rice. <clears throat> Sorry. I also got, um, one of my favorite drink shops, Yo-Yo. And they have all sorts of stuff, like mung bean, and well, I haven't seen them have red bean or anything like this, but this is, a uh, coconut milk. Um, I'm not sure if there's tea in it, actually. And then these are, like, little jellies. So I'm drinking that. I don't know how to order, like, pearl drinks. Like, I don't know the word for pearl, so. Yeah, you can literally see the sauce is just, like, gushing out. And it looks like mayonnaise. I want to say it looks like it tastes sweet, but it, it doesn't really taste sweet. It's not overwhelmingly salty. There is, like, the slightest bit of wasabi. It's just kind of like an aroma of wasabi. So it's actually... I like it, um, but the fishy flavor isn't as strong as the other one that's just fish, which is like salted fish, um, and I kind of like the plain fish one better. Mm. Should, I, should I eat this one next, the Zilso one? Because this one is, um, I already know what it tastes like. <laughs> I already know what Zilso one tastes like, um, so I'm kind of... I mean, like, I like Zilsone, so I guess I'll use this one next. I think it goes with the, um, the big sushi log. Not sushi log, but that thing that I got. I don't really know. You do, do, you do, <laughs> do you know that sushi is actually referring to the, the rice instead of the fish? And then I guess sashimi is like fish. Okay, this one is interesting, because you can see... It's like a sandwich. So I guess for, um, yeah, the other ones are not like that. They just, like, they put the topping, like, on it, and then they cover it. But this one, they made it like a sandwich. So I guess they, like, made the rice, and then they put the, the um, the zoso on it. And then, so it should be, like, throughout the entire thing. You can see it, like, halfway through. Mm-hmm. I like this way better. There's also sesame seeds in here. Mmm. Oh. I was gonna say, it looked like there was also, like, seaweed flakes in there, but it's just seaweed from the wrapper. Mmm. <laughs> that is really good. I wish I'd found it sooner, because I really love, like, zoson and, and like, rice. And I didn't know before that I really liked Zilson and bread. But it's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next one. 
this is probably like the most plain one left, is, I guess this is chicken? It's either chicken or pork or something else entirely. I, I really can't read what this says. Uh, kind of vaguely. I think this one looks like bird. And then this one is wind. And then this one kind of looks like huh, which is like drink. Wind drink. And then this one looks like moo, which is tree. So it looks like tree wind drink <laughs> with bird. Um, I have no freaking clue. But it looks like meat. So we're going to eat it. this thing out. Oh, there's like some sort of like mayonnaise sauce in it. Let me see the mayonnaise sauce. And then watch it just fall apart. All these like pieces. Okay. Um I'm gonna eat it on this side because I can see the sauce coming out. And again, like yeah, on some of these, the wrapper is not sticky at all. The fish one, the zosone one, the pork floss one, were not sticky. Um, the one that was fish with, like, mayonnaise and wasabi is sticky. And this one is, like, breaking apart, and it's sticky. So, should I select the right? Yeah, this side. Okay. Mmm. That is substantial. Mm-hmm. Mm. It tastes like bacon, pork, kind of smoky, like barbecue. But the flavor is really mild. It's like smoky in the way that it just sort of like has an aroma. But it's creamy. You can see the white sauce. It's like really creamy. I have no idea what this is. It's delicious. It's really good. <clears throat> when you smell it, it doesn't, it smells like seaweed. It doesn't smell like how it tastes, like at all. I just need to know, right? Yeah. It's a little bit sweet. Mm. A little bit more than a little bit sweet. Mm -hmm. And it kind of does taste like barbecue. Okay. That one is really good. Okay. So, all of these wrappers are plain, except for this one. This is the only wrapper that's not plain. You can, like, what is this? Why is it, it's golden and shiny? Mm. I don't know. They all have different price points, too. I think most of these are around, like, 25 kwai. Uh, 20 to 30 kwai. This one's 28. The, the kimchi one is 28. I don't know what this one was. The one that I just had was 25. Uh, I see one for 23. They're all different. This one's 30. And that's about $1. 30 Kwai is about $1. Give and take a little bit because of inflation. Yeah, I guess this one's fancy. Because it looks fancier. And also it's more expensive. But, I mean, it's a dollar for, like, seaweed and a little bit of meat and a perfectly sized portion. And rice. Which is, like, I think better for you than other... Oh, God, what is wrong with this thing? Other... Other carbs. Like, noodles are pretty good, too. And lots of cultures like to eat noodles. What is wrong with this thing? Please don't break. Oh, wow, it came out. Okay, good. All 
right, on the side. It looks like they did the sandwich method. The filling seems to be in the middle. Wrap that back around and then pull this one off. And it was like really stuck in there on the other side. Mm hmm, mm hmm. And check on this side. You can't even see the filling on this side. Okay, so my plane of attack. This one doesn't feel sticky at all. The, the wrapper feels dry. It is cracking and breaking a little, um, which is totally fine. I'm going to eat it on this side because I can see the filling. And I think this one. Oh, geez. It looks like meatballs with cheese and onions. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. 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 This tastes like something similar to this that I've gotten. It's chicken with like black pepper, marinated. Um, I do feel onions. I'm definitely chewing on an onion. I can feel it crunching in the way that onions do. I don't see any in here. Oh, wait, I think I do, maybe. It's, like, really light green. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is, like, barbecue black pepper chicken. I don't know how else to describe it. And they have something similar to this that's like a, like a log. And they have like eggs, the chicken, like sauce. So this is actually, yeah, this is like really good. And the, the logs usually are like more than 30. They're usually like 40 to 50, um, quai. So it's like a dollar 50 or something like that. Mm -hmm. This is really good. Because it's um it's a good substitute for the other more expensive one that I've been getting this entire time. The only thing is that with these onigiri, they don't ask if you want them heated up. Like with this log thing and with the sandwich, they asked me if I wanted it heated up. So I got it heated up. The only thing about doing a taste tester video like this is I can't really save these. I kind of have to eat them. Like this would be perfect if I bought it and then I wanted to save it for like tomorrow or for a few hours for lunch or something. Although it's dinner time here. It's not lunch time. Okay. This last one is chicken. I think it's chicken. I'm pretty sure it's chicken. And like it looks like kimchi. Like pickled vegetables, like kimchi. Alright. Take off the wrapper. Do, 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 do. I can see the salt on the seaweed on this one. This, I don't know. The other ones don't really have it. This one, the outside of the seaweed is super salty. Like, oh my gosh. I can literally see the salt on it. I don't think my camera is good enough to pick it up. Okay. I can see the filling already. Look, that's definitely kimchi. That red just going crazy and like bleeding everywhere. Kimchi. I'm not gonna unwrap it all the way. I'm just gonna take a bite. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is like the chicken that you get on like barbecue chicken pizza. Or just any chicken pizza. Mm hmm You don't really like, I don't really feel it. I just mostly feel like rice and like the wrapper. I don't really feel feel the filling. It looks like it's been squished down. It doesn't taste like kimchi, it tastes like spicy barbecue sauce. It's like more mild than kimchi actually is. And I'm just realizing now, this is the wrapper for the side that I'm holding right now. 
why is it salted? Like, why is this one salted? I love salt. <laughs> like, they don't eat a lot of salt here in Taiwan, at least in southern Taiwan. It, they have, like, very sugary kind of foods. Let me see if I can get this out. So, especially when I first got here, I was suffering from, like, a lack of salt. And because of the weather, it was so hot. I was just sweating all the time, drinking water, trying to, but not having enough salt. If I had discovered this, I would have eaten it a lot more. I think I'm just going to finish these now. The only thing I didn't show you guys was this chicken sandwich. And it's a very basic sandwich. It, Like I said, the, the bread, especially when it's hot, it's just like... Like, all of the other, th it's just bread and lettuce with, like, a little bit of, like, mayo, chipotle mayo sauce. And, like, spicy, like, Cajun chicken kind of stuff. That's, like, grilled, not fried, so it's not crunchy. It's, like, soft. Which just, when it's hot, the whole thing, just, like, you take a bite out of it, and it's, like, tender and juicy. And, like, it just, like, melts in your mouth except for like the little bit of like meat and then it just tastes spicy and delicious and I used to I used to get these in the morning and then I would walk to my bus stop and it would be gone before I was like halfway to my bus stop but my bus stop was like 15 20 minute walk so that's what I would do and then I would finish my drink because um in Taiwan you can get this is like a meal thing you see this tick sticker right here it's like a meal deal a lot of these Onigiri also meal deals, so you can get one of these. Excuse me. And you can pair it with a drink or a yogurt or a juice, you know, whatever that they have available. And I just, I didn't decide, to, I decided not to get because I got so much. I got a different drink. But yeah, it's a really great deal. Um, so that was Taiwanese Onigiri and convenience store food. Say, uh, convenience. So I'm gonna eat this before, before, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm done. I'm gonna eat this before I lose my appetite. And by lose my appetite, I mean, what's the word? fill up because if you eat a lot and then you like wait and then you become full and you don't eat anymore. Oh, if anybody cares, um, yeah, I have that suitcase over there in the corner is my second suitcase and it's full of like just souvenirs and clothes that would not fit in my normal suitcase. I'm so happy I packed it. It's ready. Now I just need to finish packing my normal suitcase and put like basically my laptop and like all the stuff on this desk into my backpack and then I'll be ready to go. So yay, I'll be back in the States for a week. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching. Bye.